to our service tonight. Special singing, Crossroads. We're always glad when they come to be a part of our service. And we're glad you're here. And we want to worship together tonight in song. And it's going to be a good time together in the Lord, I'm sure. And we want to go to the Lord in prayer and just lift this service up. Our singers pray for the ones that around us that have needs, the sick, that was are dealing with different issues and just lift them up tonight as well. And as we go to the Lord together and just lift up this service again, I want to ask Brother Ed if he'd lead us in a prayer to give a place. Dear Father, thank you for the congregation we have here tonight. Dear God, dear God just be with these, this group, Crossroads. Dear Father, just help them. Dear God, help them. They can plant seeds that might grow with somebody's soul. Dear Father, that he might be saved. Dear Father, just uh, thank you for everything that you give us each and every day. Be with our country and our government. And dear God, just help us after we leave this service that we can tell somebody about you and ask somebody to come to church. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen. If I could, I'd like to tell you about a friend of mine, the one who I depend on all the time, the one who is so faithful, the one who is so true, he bears my every burden, he'll always see you through. What a wonderful Savior, He is my Father, He calls me by name, He's my strength when I'm weary, my help when I'm troubled, what a wonderful Savior, what a wonderful You lost and in despair. My friend, let me remind you when life gets out of hand, there's someone you can talk to, you'll always understand. His name is Jesus. What a wonderful Savior! He is my Father, He calls me by name, He's my strength when I'm weary, my help when I'm troubled, what a wonderful Savior, what a wonderful Since halls I wandered so far, far away from the fold. Then an old fashioned preacher told me about Jesus, and now I belong to him. I know, I know, yes, I know, yes, I know, I know that I've been born again. I know, I know, yes, I know. Yes, I know, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. No power can erase it, this mark the Lord gave me. I know, I'm a child of the King. I've traded my rags for a home over yonder. I've given my all to my Lord. That day the Lord saved me, He put a blood mark upon me, and now I am one of His own. I know, I know, yes I know, yes I know, I know that I've been born again. I 
Amazing, you know, <clears throat> millions of people made such an extraordinary effort to get somewhere where they could see the eclipse. Drove thousands of miles, bought glasses, rented motel rooms, bought food, gasoline. Millions of dollars spent just to see that little thing happen. The same person who created that universe and those, so many of those people will never be inside a church. They'll never give God an hour of the time, but they'll spend dollars upon dollars to see something that he created. Yeah. Isn't that such a, it's ironic, isn't it? How human beings are, but I'm glad. I'm glad he did it. I'm glad that he's the master of the universe. I'm glad he's big enough to create this thing, but yet he's small enough to be right here in my heart and in your heart too, if you're a Christian tonight. Good to see all of you again. Um, glad you survived the eclipse. <laughs> I'll tell you what I was doing. My wife told me. She said there is some green beans in the garden and need picking. And I said, yes, ma'am. And I went to the garden. And I picked, and it got to looking weird out there, let me tell you. It was, it was looking strange, you know. And she came out and said, you might ought to come in. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I went in with uh, what I had picked. And I set them down, and I went to the basement and worked on some quartet stuff. Stayed there in there about an hour, and I came up, and I said, is it over? She said, yeah. I said, good, I'll go finish picking beans. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I got into it. Didn't bother me in the least. God, God made all these wonderful things, and, and it's going to happen. And, hey, I praise the Lord for it. Um... We've added new members since we were here last, and uh, I'll introduce them to you. Um, is anybody here seeing us for the first time? Is it, is it? <laughs> I saw one or two real hands and a couple just telling the story. Um, yeah. My son, Brian. Singing tenor is uh, Dave Powell, and the new guy on the block, uh, singing bass. We we sung about a year and a half as, as a trio. We we enjoyed it. We we enjoyed it, but we also enjoyed being a quartet. We've always been a quartet, uh, and missed the part. We enjoyed the singing as as a trio. We prayed God would send us somebody that, that would fit us. Didn't recruit anybody, and sure enough, God sent us one. He is a, a wonderful Christian guy, great guy to be on the road with, uh, very dedicated. 
Uh, I don't like people. When we tell people we're going to leave at uh, 2.30, I expect let's roll the bus at 2.30, you know. He's that kind of guy I like that. Uh, dedicated to his church, a hard church worker, and that's what we wanted, a good Christian person to do that. On top of all those qualities, I think he's one of the best bass singers I've ever heard in my life. Um, bar none, he could uh, be singing with the professionals. But I'm sure glad he's not. <laughs> he only has one problem, folks. Uh, he eats like an elephant. <laughs> Eats all the time. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, our little quartet has survived all these years on the bus. If you go on there, you'll find water, diet coats, nabs, and peanuts. That's what we've lived on for 56 years. Three times the poor. I've gained 20 pounds since Randy started. <laughs> now every time, every time you pass a shop that's got anything to eat, this one over here is yelling, pull over, pull over. <laughs> it takes a lot of energy to sing bass. Yeah, it really does. I gotta have a lot of carbohydrates. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what it is. We, uh, First place we went to sing, we were, we were down below Bowling Green. Right, getting close to Nashville down there. <laughs> we, we were driving. Randy said, now we'll get done. And I said, you'll drive back over to I-65 and go left. He said, there's a, an Outback. Oh man, we've never been to Outback in 56 years. Before and I didn't say anything, I just drove on. We've only been on another 10, 15 miles, and he said, now we'll get done if you'll drive out to 65 and turn right. There's a Cracker Barrel over there. <laughs> we ain't never been to Cracker Barrel, neither. Can't afford it. It's a pretty sad little thing. I said, if you'll shut up. We are turning it off in a road, and there was a marathon quick stop over there. And I said, if you'll shut up, we'll stop right here, we'll come back. <laughs> and we did and splurged that night because we bought a pizza. <laughs> let, let me, you all folks live out here on the east side of Somerset. And we were singing back over here somewhere. About the second singing. I was starved to death. We had sung and I had just put everything I had in it and I was so hungry. And got on the bus and said, Bernie, I really am hungry. He didn't say a word. I went, well, how do you do? He come back up and give me a pack of naps. I didn't realize, but at the crossroads all these years, that was a five-star meal. <laughs> to me, that just gets me started. But uh, we left that church. And we headed back in, and as we got into Somerset, and you all know this, there's a lot of bulletin boards. They need to take him down. For, sometimes people are really hungry. And you see them signs. And the first one, you know, steak and shake that I've seen. And I just kind of groaned to myself, I was so hungry. And uh, we rolled on just a minute for Sonny's. A little tear coming my eye. You know, that hurt. And then I couldn't find the, I mean, we got to the next of Cracker Barrel. Oh, that done it. I said, Bernie, okay, we don't have to go eat, but if you'll pull the bus over, I can at least go lick on the sign. <laughs> it's been an experience. I, you know, when I, I hadn't sang for 14, 15 years. These guys are a hoot to sing with, a good group of Christian men. But uh, in my business, I typically use just sport coats and ties and nothing really matches. So my real business suits that we sing in, they were all 14, 15 years old. Something happened to me 
the wife that took them the last time she must have took them to the cleaners they used draw up something on them. <laughs> then things like that much coming together and she said well we're gonna have a yard sale looks like I said not so fast if I sang with Bernie long enough they fit again <laughs> About the uh, second or third practice we had, I asked Randy if he, if he knew that <clears throat> song that we had recorded maybe 30 years ago, and he said he did, and he just started singing it. And I jumped over to the keyboard and saw what he was in, and I thought, he's surely not gonna sing it this low. He did, and it sounded <clears throat> great. And we're just, just about got a new CD ready, and we recorded, had Randy record this on the CD. I hope you'll enjoy this old song that you've heard probably heard all your life it's an old song but it's a gorgeous song and it's a true song i'm glad that one day he reached down his hand for me Say 